There we are, next morning. Good brekkie, just strolling around the beast. Uh, you can see it's moving along now. It's got a tick off in the night, took off. Started driving off in the night. But, um, yeah, it's quite amazing actually. I feel quite dizzy making, speeding around on this mad thing. There we are. Oh, got an amazing view out there. Man, it really is just ocean. Oh, there's some ships. Some ships out there. Oh man, look at that sort of wake behind left by the ship. Amazing. Look at it. Unbelievable, man. Out here, people out there swimming. What time is it? I'm getting confused. I think it was actually 10 past 10. But uh, I'm going to see. My watch phone can't update themselves. But that um, wake is amazing. Strolling all around the boat. You got loads of people. Look at them just on their little deck chairs, chilling out all the way down. Very extraordinary. Just chilling in the sun, reading their books, man. Quite um, intriguing. Don't know what they're up to. It's a weird thing being on a boat. Because what do you do? Chill out, look at other boats, look at the sea, keep eating and stuff. Uh, um, quite intriguing. Windy out here in this mad bit where I mean, you can see these uh, spare propellers, which are described as artworks. But it's super windy up this front bit. Oh yeah, you got a good view out there, I hadn't seen that. That's really cool. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go back to the stage, end of the room. And again, we'll go through it very, very slowly. I do see a couple of Is that myself? Start yeah, him. that's me. That is yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good start. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're consistent. Oh, five. 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 Oh, oh, five. Oh, no one is <laughs> Okay, so you just oh, killed yourself. Or just, just one life. Just oh, great. Okay, we are moving on to race. Oh, Midget, you do it. Well, yeah, you're gone. Midget. <laughs> 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 Sixteen. It's not me. Oh, no. no, 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 it's not. No, that's not me. No, no. That's no. David's last life. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Murderer. Go, Murderer. Yeah. Can't kill a dart and mango. Don't get me. Oh. Oh. Jason losing a life. Oh. That's Maureen. Oh. Jason, you've lost all your lives. Oh. <laughs> Mango's eliminated. Mango. He's eliminated, Jason. Alright. Okay. Oh, like so. oh, oh, I thought it was not mango. <laughs> <laughs> finished him off. Oh, is he finished? Yeah. Oh, she got me as well. Oh, no. And Rafe. Rafe's second. Oh, midget. Alright, Sema. Here we go. Alright, oh, Mrs. D. Kill the rest of here we go. Uh, Eight, that's good. Maureen, that's your last lap girl. Oh. Hi, okay, everybody. Here we are in the Illuminations Theatre for some sort of planetarium vibe. Yeah, you want to sit under that, don't you? Yeah, so let's sit under the stars. Come on. Oh, there's the dog. But there's an assistance dog here. Look at that. How cool is that? Right, we'll stroll through here. 
Oh, look at you, beautiful doggy. Right. Oh, so all the major spots under the thing have been taken. Do you see the dog? Yeah. Well, don't you want to try and get under the planetarium bit? There really are any spots left on. It's got a mad little spot here, just outside the uh, outside where we had the uh, talk on the planets. Oh, well, it's actually going the other way. Which way is it going? Going that. It's going that way. I find it a bit mad sometimes, but it goes so fast, doesn't it? Just pounds along, man. Oh. Smells kind of mad as it rushes along. So here we are, chilling out in the, um, what's it called? The, you think we're in this lounge, the clear hyphen um, lounge. Anyway, just about to do a, uh, oh, here we go, quiz. Music quiz, everybody's turned up somewhere. Here we go. Who's ready for some quick hit music trivia? Fantastic. Well, if you would like to join, quick hit music trivia, everybody. Piece of paper and a pencil, and then so back here in front of me. Mummy gets back in time. Up, uh, and she's these the these quiz mistress of the main. Up to you. You can make friends. We won't stop you from that. Um, so this is how the trivia is going to work today. Okay, right. We're here on the pretty much the top of this crazy ship. And we're trying to play, we're trying to play whatever this game is. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, sort of weird mini tennis. It's just, wow, well, surprisingly hard and actually quite dangerous to film. Right. Okay. Anyway, it's all kicking off and it's madly windy as we play, but strangely entertaining. Got mad views, you walk around this crazy windy shit man i mean it's not actually rough you said it was force four but i mean you haven't got any white caps on the water in particular and they're both stable as stable but it's still madly windy man oh we're out of the wind a bit now it's a bit more protected from the wind in this section here with these uh, bits on the side oh that's where the table tennis is now isn't it all right we're wandering down here it yeah. might be <laughs> gotta go and get ready in a minute because tonight is a mad black tie dinner not only that, somehow you've got to get dressed in black tie and you've got to have your suitcase packed by 11 p.m. so you can be taken away. That is a mission. Oh man, it's windy again. Windy, windy, windy. Okay, so now you have a mad game of whoa! A mad game of deck coits, which has been renamed Deck Coyote. And I've just strapped my hat on as hard as I can because so I don't want to lose it. My new Cunard hat. Check it out, baby. Right, here we go. Deck Coyote. Here we go. Oh, in the five. Oh, in the one. Oh, man. That's rubbish. So, it's crazy black tie gold dinner night. Not entirely sure I approve or agree with the whole idea of black tie, but anyway, that is the deal. So, uh, here we are, dressed up in black tie. Microphone maybe messed up. I'm back on the road again. On the way to the Rose Court Theatre, maybe. Uh, trying to find the um, whatever it is. We're trying to find the magician. Right, on the way to a magician. This is a nightmare I had earlier. Trying to find the 
illuminations area. Yes. Oh, it's down here on the left. This man, it looks a little suspicious. He hasn't touched it? Good, good. We have the box in the house. How many of you Let's tonight to are gamblers? Give me a big round of applause. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> one little gambler somewhere. Maybe in the back, hiding. Actually, I have a question. Do we have anyone here tonight with... Thank you. I keep searching. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone else? Big group. With some of you? Must get the same as some hands then. Then look at the audience and smile. It's very important. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. No one has been near this box since the beginning of this show. And if we look inside this box, I have a little gift for you. If we open this, we find a little, it is a little bag, so you can take out the bag and hold it as high as possible, yes? So a lot of our meals have been in the Princess Grill, uh, courtesy of John Dunn, shipping expert. Um, but this is the King's Court. This is much more like the normal kind of all-inclusive vibe we used to. Um, you've got a fantastic selection of stuff here. You've got um, all the goodies. Let's have a little browse around this breakfast because it's rather yumbo actually. Uh, and they've got all the selection of cold meats, all that sort of stuff over here. Fruits. Burke and muesli, I do love a bit of burke and muesli. So nice, so boring to make at home, so you gotta put everything in overnight. Um, burke and muesli like yogurt and milk and muesli sort of soaked overnight. Uh, fresh fruit area, gluten free toast, freshly baked homemade sort of breads. I think we're going to the end of breakfast now, so there's not quite as much stuff left. Um, and we are now in Hamburg. So this is, I'm slightly confused, I think it's probably day three. Uh, down here you've got all the basics, sort of, you know, hot, everybody queuing up for like, uh, what looks really nice to actually, those omelettes look really good, don't they? Plain omelette, eggs, all your different uh, sorted breads. Around here you've got all your, ooh, chicken sausage, what a bit of chicken sausage. Poached paddock in milk, oh, nice. Corn beef hash, oh, that sounds good. Taste of drama. Here you go around here, you've got, uh, you know, tomatoes, baked beans, hash browns, all the usual. And you've got uh, machines, quite nice orange juice, cranberry juice cocktail, all the rest of it. Particularly like that cranberry juice cocktail. Ice, coffee, coffee, coffee tea, nice selection. But yeah, I mean, you've got absolutely everything you want in here. Uh, and out there you can see Hamburg, which is where we've got to. Um, oh, it's just busier here in this bit. You've got more people jumping around. Uh, but a super decent breakfast. So here we are in the port of, well, Hamburg, I suppose. Look at this amazing thing with these giant cranes. So we're here. This is Hamburg. Probably not the most attractive section. But this is Hamburg anyway. This cargo area. And we are um, been floating down the Elbe River all night, I think. Um, weirdly enough, in the dark. But we are now here. Let's stroll down, have a look at the stern, I think. This is the place we're eating most of the time, the Princess Grill. The guys on board the boat. Um, working in the restaurants and things. They have a gym, interestingly enough. We were chatting to them, they've got a gym, they've got a bar, they've got uh, table tennis, uh, billiards, stuff like that downstairs in the boat. And they've also got an upper section of the boat above those kennels we looked at where they can go and chill out during the day. But they've got a brutal day, man. They start, he gets up at five, guy was saying. A uh, guy gets up at 5 a.m. every day. Got to do every single meal. That is breakfast, lunch, tea, and dinner. And dinner doesn't finish till 11, so you've got a tough time. It's a major time off the day, actually seems to be after breakfast. Um, right, anyway, this is more of Hamburg. Uh, I guess we will reach uh, 
can't remember what Hamburg looks like, we've been here before, but um, we will see more. And of course, Hamburg is where the, I think, the Beatles came to fame. Anyway, more as today continues. Show you a bit more of these Hamburg bits. You can see these kind of, oh, look at that cool sort of church tower in the distance. That building there and this kind of nice tower. Very cool. What's down there? Oh, man alive, there's a sort of weird tugboat thing beside us. Or in the a long ladder. Hat. Oh man, with an unbelievably long ladder. Oh, I thought that From the vertiguous <laughs> looking at that. Am I going to go up the ladder? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they're trying to make me go on the ladder. Oh, I feel a bit weird looking over there at the ladder. You can see it. The ladder's a bit mind blowing, the ladder. Everybody's sitting here with their luggage, ready for disembarkation. Disembarkation is quite confusing because of COVID. You seem to have everybody seems to have a separate time, literally, to leave. I guess so they don't all bump into each other in some corridor. Um, right. Anyway, here we are, chilling out on the boat till we hit our disembarkation time. Got some nice views up here of Hamburg. Look at this mad disembarkation area in all the car parks. Right on top of the boat at the moment. Uh, he's just got yet another cool view of Hamburg from here. It's very nice. Look at it, you can see the crazy ship funnel. And then uh, back around to the back of the ship here. This must be a more of a kind of... Oh, this is the Queen Elizabeth Suite. So this is a suite, check it out man, you've got your own bedroom and you've got your own area. Oh man, and you're looking out of the front of the ship as it drives along, look at that. Amazing. Look at that, you've got a separate bedroom. That one's Queen Elizabeth. And this is the Queen Elizabeth suite. Amazing. How did you that Check it out, can we go in this one as well? Oh wow, this Thank one's got so double doors to it. Oh. Sorry, it just looks so beautiful. <laughs> Can we have a look? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. okay, cool. I said we can have a look. So let's have a little look at it. Man. Whoa, this is even bigger. Oh my goodness me, is that a, a painting mark or something? Right, check it out. Look, you've got a Whoa, look at that. You've got a beautiful balcony. Oh, it's a monkey sculpture. But look at it, you've got this beautiful room with your writing desk. You're looking out the side of the ship. You've got a beautiful side view here. Check it out. So these, these must be the mega luxury spots, do you think? Come through here. three of these on the ship. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man, look at this beautiful bed. And then there's another one. Oh man, What's you've got an ensuite, so TV in your bedroom, and you've got another bathroom here. Got a door there. Oh wow, look at this bathroom with a beautiful climb up um, bath. You can actually climb up into it and look around. Check it out. And you've got a Cunard umbrella. You've got a climb up bath in that one. Have you No, you can actually climb up into the bath. Look at it. How cool is that? Pretty funky, eh? Pretty funky. Amazing. What's actually in here? What's in these doors? I just unlock it. I didn't unlock it. Oh wow, what is that? A private lift. Oh man. Got your own elevator. Going that straight is to mad. Queen's girlfriend. Okay, that it doesn't actually say mad. that, but it's possible. It only goes down to deck seven. Man. And this is just your chilling area. That has made the room a lot more comfortable. <laughs> well, I didn't that think is, there would be a lift. I didn't think the there was going to be a private elevator. Look at that. What's in here? That's locked. The windows are amazing. It's beautiful front, window. Freezing. Oh, and you can see the front. You can see out of the front as well. Oh, that is a beautiful view of the front of the ship from here, isn't it? Look at 
Look at that. What are we looking at the front? Yeah, you've got this lovely view here while you're chilling on your sofa. Oh, the blinds have to be closed at sunset, just like uh, mm. the other parts. Oh, wow, look, you've got an amazing view down there. Look at well. this one. Oh, you've got a lovely, that's a cool seat to chill on. Check it out, man. Got a daddy. This next time, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Would you lean against that? No, I don't think I'd lean against that. I don't think anybody needs to lean against the glass window. Check I don't know what a good idea for videos, we just get the very yeah. best room. Yeah, well, or yeah, ask to see the very best room. I've actually got quite decent yeah. paintings in here as well. Um, fascinating, fascinating. So this was the Queen Elizabeth suite and that's the Queen Victoria suite. Check it out guys, so those are the ones you want. Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria suite. Very classy yep. indeed. Heading out the ship. Theirs aren't red, theirs are like silver. You are? Theirs aren't red. Too. They're not red? Their cards aren't red. Are they? You sure? Yeah. They're definitely not red. I'm sure they're all red. Aren't they? Oh, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Right. And we're heading out, baby. Bye bye, thank you. Oh, cool view of the ship, man. Look at that. Nice. Got some great views of the ship from here, man. Look at it. Look at that. What a beast. What a beast that thing is. Only when you're here do you really get a sense of the absolute massive size of the thing. Everybody's starting to get taking photos. Look at it. It's like a city literally spreading back and forth down there. Absolutely crazy, crazy, massive, massive shit.